people are angry and it's uh, now we may be speaking and there will be groups of people everywhere expressing their anger there's a spectrum of groups uh, in the streets you know there you have the leftists the rightists so you cannot say that all the people are homogeneous and they all want uh, one thing everyone died from all the religions from all the political groups from all ages the poor the rich the workers the syrians the shia the sunni the the, the christians everyone died everyone paid for that we are all dying our children have no future because of this political uh, uh, ignorance that is ruling us. You have half the country that says it's Hezbollah to blame, half the country that says it's the corruption to blame, half the country that uh, that says I don't know who to blame, I'm just sick of this political uh, group. And I think this, this reflects uh, what we are living today. If you come and you, you uh, as NGOs, as social groups, if you try to put a plan together, you might have hope now because it's like in the happening but if we don't i fear that uh, this uh, the same political groups will renew and re-image themselves into just the way that they did uh, 15 or 20 years ago and the system that we have in lebanon the resignation of the prime minister doesn't really make a big difference right now unless there's another prime minister because uh, the, we say we now will say it's a caretaking. It, the, the government remains there, and the caretaker government, with one difference that they cannot take any uh, real decisions. So, which is basically something bad. So, uh, there are many fears for the Lebanese. But I tell you one thing, and and if I'm trying to be positive about something, is that this is our blood and veins and life. I am someone. I'm 30 years old. I was born in a war. I was uh, seven years old when another war happened. I was 10 years old when another war happened. We, we have witnessed assassinations, wars, uh, uh, 33 days of ongoing war with Israel when I was in my high school, then ISIS, then uh, bombs. Then... So basically, these kinds of challenges are us. This is who we are. This is what our lives are. And maybe this is why when we party, we party harder. And we write poetry, we write it better. And really, and when we do arts, we do it with such passion because we, you can die anyway. You can die any second. I want a, a, a government where uh, Emmanuel Macron can come and give his uh, argument, but uh, he cannot tell me what to do. Neither can Americans, neither can Chinese, nor can uh, any other. I want real sovereignty. Not Iran nor Saudi Arabia. I don't want any allies or friends or who to tell me what to do. These ignorant people do not represent the Lebanese uh, youth. We have brilliant minds and capabilities. And what I really want is that for our capabilities to stay in the country and build it. We have best uh, doctors in the States. Why aren't they here? We have the best scientists in the, in the world. Why aren't they here? Because... There's no way to prevail in your own country. You have to be ignorant or to, to be like behind some stupid politician to get to the, to the uh, vacancy, to, to the jobs, to the post, to the responsibilities. So my hope for Lebanon is to be our Lebanon, to look like me. Like I cannot be a leader in Lebanon because I have to be uh, like a quota for one politician and do whatever he tells me. I want... I want a fair leadership for the country.